we all want to make more money. I've never met anybody who said, I don't want more money. Even the billionaires in this world are creating new inventions and creating new things. Obviously, to add value to the world, but most importantly, to make more money. What if the way that we can make more money is if we can rewire our brains to make more money? Today, I want to share with you five ways to rewire your brain to be able to make more money. And not just make money, make it a sustainable process that will keep creating money and abundance in your life. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Tale Alimi. I am a wealth advocate. I advocate for you to live the abundant and wealthy life that I believe God has called you to live. So I talk a lot about overcoming limiting beliefs, getting what I call the millionaire mindset, managing your money well, attracting financial abundance, and manifesting the life of your dreams. If this is what you desire, then this channel is for you. So make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite other members of your community to join to subscribe. Turn on the notification because I usually have a new video every week. I try to post every Friday at 3 p.m. I try, and I'm, I think that this the last few weeks have been consistent. So stay with me and encourage me by letting me know what you think about my videos in the comments. Now, so let's get into it. What are the five ways that you can um, rewire your brain to attract more money? The first thing that you need to do is to get clear on what you want, okay? The beautiful thing about clarity is that when you're clear, it allows your brain to focus. Now, there's a part of your brain that is called the reticular activating system. This is the part of your brain that helps you to focus in a very in a world full of distractions, okay? And so that's why, for example, if you decided that, oh, I want a purple dress, like the dress I'm wearing, all of a sudden you begin to see purple dresses everywhere because your reticular activating system now makes you focus on a purple dress. Or if you decide that, oh, I want a black Range Rover, like I do, right? <laughs> All of a sudden, everywhere you go, you begin to see black Range Rovers because your reticular activating system is helping you to focus on black Range Rovers. So why can't you use your reticular activating system to your advantage? You can use it to your advantage by being clear of what you want. Now, you can be as clear as deciding what the amount of money it is you want to um, attract or manifest or make or bring it to your life okay so you can decide okay i want to make ten thousand dollars i want to make a hundred thousand dollars i want to make a million dollars i want to make a hundred million dollars why not right you can decide and be clear about what it is that you want to make okay so that's the first step be clear all right because when you have clarity you have focus and where focus goes energy flows now the second step is you should write an affirmation of what you want as if you already have it. Now, in church today, I go to a church called The Covenant Nation. My pastor is Pastor Pojo Yemade, and it's, uh, you can check us out online. I think our website is Insights for Living the All, a powerful church, and we talk about the Word of God a lot. And one of the things my pastor was sharing today is that our heart is like a garden, and the seeds we sow into our garden are the words we speak. And so when we talk about affirmations, what we're actually talking about is you speaking what it is that you want into your life, okay? So you say, I am wealthy, or I am worth $10,000, $100,000, a million dollars, whatever the amount it is that you are calling into your life. Now, I want you to become very serious and intentional about your affirmation. And the reason why is, when you are serious about your affirmation, what you are doing is actually creating what they call neural pathways in your mind, in your brain. Remember, we're rewiring the brain. Neural pathways are new cells in your brain that makes whatever it is you're calling into your brain a possibility for you, meaning that it didn't exist before. So for example, maybe the highest amount you've ever gotten in your life is maybe $10,000. And now you want to get $100,000. So the first time you say probably I bought a hundred thousand dollars, your brain, your mind, everything inside of you is going to resist you, right? Because it's going to say hundred thousand dollars from where? You know what I mean? But 
the more you say it, the more you actually rewire your brain and create new neural pathways. What I advise is that you actually write your affirmation down. You can write it down on your uh, mobile device, your tablet or whatever. It's all on the paper and recite it to yourself every day for at least 30 days. Now, Dr. John Dispenser says that it takes 66 days for a new habit to be established. The reason why I said at least 30 days is because I believe that if you can consistently do it for 30 days, it becomes a habit and you can just continue to do it, right? So the way that I, I do it, I think I shared it in my last videos on 10 habits that will transform your life for the end of the year is I actually set alarms on my phone. In the morning, I, I, I recite my affirmations. At 1 p.m., I recite my morning affirmations. In the evening, I recite my, my evening affirmations before I go to bed. I met a friend today on my way back from church. I'm recording this video on a Sunday. And she showed me her affirmation alarms. She has almost 10 alarms that goes off at several times of the day to recite her affirmation. That is That shows how serious she is about what she wants to bring into her life. So if you're serious about bringing what it is you desire to your life, I advise you to have some sort of discipline around your affirmations and make sure that you're consistently repeating what you want to yourself so that you can actually create the neural pathways in your mind to call it in. So that's the second stage, affirmations. The third thing I want you to do is to begin to visualize what it is that you want to bring into your life, the amount of money you want to visualize in your life. And the way you visualize money is that you visualize what you will do with the money. Let's say, for example, I say, okay, I want to bring in $100,000 in my life, okay? What would I want to do with $100,000? Maybe I want to buy a new car, my black Range Rover, let's say, for example. And then I will visualize actually driving the Range Rover. I will feel the feelings of driving the Range Rover. I will feel the joy of driving the Range Rover, okay? I will visualize. You can also visualize, for example, your bank balance with that amount of money and how you will feel. Now, I learned many years ago from Dr. Sam Adeyemi, he's a leadership coach, that things are created twice. And the Bible also says it. He says things are created first in the mind and then in real life. And so what visualization does is that it helps you to feel what it is that you want as if it already happens. And your brain actually does not know the difference. Your brain thinks that you're actually experiencing it and your brain is beginning to, going to begin to cooperate with you to make it your reality. Isn't that amazing? So the Bible says, let there be, and there was. The first let there is speaking it out. The second let there is make, bringing it to reality. Okay, so use your affirmations and use your visualization to actually begin to see what it is that you see, the amount of money you want to bring in, and what it is you're going to do with it. You know, just imagine it, visualize it. Maybe you want to make a difference, like this December is coming. By the time I'm recording this video, I'm recording it in October. You know, maybe you want to give to people. Like this, this morning in church, they talked about a project, and I said to myself, I would like to give X amount of money to this project. Okay, so I have already spoken, and once I said, I visualized the amount of money I wanted to give and I believe that I will give it by the grace of God okay so that's the third thing visualize what it is that you want and feel the feelings like it's already happened then the fourth thing I will say to you is remove any resistance in your mind remove any resistance that might stand between you and what it is that you desire I shared a few weeks ago a quote by David Bayer that desire less desire plus non-resistance equals to what desired outcome so whatever it is that you desire a lot of times when you think about it, okay for example i want to attract a hundred thousand dollars into my life that's what money i want to bring into my life that's money i want to make immediately you say it you will face resistance the resistance can be maybe your mindset what we've never done that kind of amount of money before the resistance can maybe be a limiting belief maybe it's, that's not a reality for our family or you look at the economy with today's economy how is that a reality so you begin to deal with resistance so what you need to do now is to re remove any resistance your resistance can even be because you think that it can only come from one way who says that maybe you think that okay the only way i can make this money is x amount of way or y amount of way okay so again so those are things that might be resistance to you. I want you to remove all the resistance, reframe those limiting beliefs. And if you need help to do that, I have a course called the Millionaire Mindset Course. 
It's literally going to help you reprogram your mind, taking away all the clutters, all the resistance, okay, so that you can attract the abundance, call in the money that you desire into your life. It's a very practical step-by-step Five stage process that would help you rewire your mindset to be able to remove those resistance so that your desired outcome will become your reality. Check it out in the link. I'll just add it to my description. Um, it'll change your life. It's a game changer, and I urge you to invest in yourself because investing in yourself is a proof that you want what it is you say you want. Then the fifth point is begin to take what I call inspired action. Now, if you've done point one to point four very well, you have rewired your brain to begin to see possibilities. And then you begin to get ideas. You begin to get inspiration on what you need to do to actually get what it is you want. Now, take action on those ideas. And don't be afraid if you make mistakes because sometimes clarity comes from doing. So sometimes you begin to do it and you find out that, oh, okay, it's not going the way I want it. You make a mistake here. You meet an obstacle here. You make a resistance here. Press into it. Okay? You know, one mistake we make is that we think that if something is meant for us, there'll be no resistance, but that's not a lie. This video I'm recording right now, this is the second recording I'm doing, right? I recorded it first earlier in the day and for some reason, my MacBook did not keep the video and I was surprised. So now I'm recording it again. And I decided to practice my own principle. You might be resistance, but don't give up. My goal is to make sure that I share this message with you because I want it to transform your life and so that you can attract the world's abundance that I believe God has done for you. So do me a favor, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification and share this video with your community so that I can continue to serve you with these videos that will help you call in the abundance that you desire. So, number five, take inspired action. Press into it. Even if you make mistakes, evaluate it. Get more clarity. Visualize it again. Remind yourself about what you want, okay, and why you want it. And keep affirming that it is possible. It is your reality. And I can bet you the more you do this, the more you rewire your brain, the more you then take those inspired action, that which you desire will become your reality. Now, I want to challenge you. Tell me in the comments, what action steps are you going to take to get what you want? First of all, what is it that you want? How much money are you actually calling into your life? And what action steps are you going to take based on what I shared to call, bring into your life? I look forward to reading from you. And please don't forget to like, like I said, this video so that the algorithm will show this video to more people. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let the channel grow. Let more people be blessed by this amazing message. And don't forget to share this with your community. And I look forward to reading from you. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye-bye.